Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2023 Sierra 3370 RL fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then we will close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Sierra 3370 RL. And as you've seen on the floor plan, this is a triple slide out rear living room couples coach. Let's get started over here on the door side slide out setup here. So over here we have the uh, four freestanding chairs along with the dinette table that is actually attached to the wall. So there is no center post leg or anything to kind of interfere with you. You have big windows overlooking the campsite area or on inside of the RV. The slide out has that woven material that they use in like a lot of pontoon boats. So it's not actually carpet, a little easier to clean up and maintain. And then you have vinyl flooring on your main subfloor and your kitchen slide. Over here is your theater seat pointing straight at your TV. Theater seat has a little light up cup holder rings and some lights down below as well. We have overhead cabinets here. These are a little bit nicer hinge system. They kind of hold themselves up so they're not falling down and hitting you. But a decent amount of storage there. The sofa across the back is a tri-fold sofa. We'll flip out, make into a bed so you could sleep a couple adults back here. You got a little end table on each side. There is electric outlet and USB charger port on the left side and an electric outlet on the right side. You have big windows overlooking the backside area of your RV. So hopefully you have a nice view that you could back up to, maybe at a lakeside or beach side. Overhead cabinet space here again and they are using the soft close cabinet doors here as well. Just kind of looking straight across from your theater seat, you have a 32 inch graystone electric fireplace, basically a fancy electric space heater. You have the Connects sound bar, and then you have the Connects TV on a swing arm. So it is kind of nice that they have a matching TV and sound bar, so they work properly together. And then up above, again, a little more storage space up here. Now on the island, there's a little toe kick lighting down below, propane leak detector down there, and an electric outlet here on the back side. Now it does have the uh, stone style countertop, so a little bit nicer than the old foil style that you'll find on some brands. And then you have three drawers and some storage space down here. Now on the drawers, these again are also soft close. Um, so a little bit of an upgrade to the drawer guides. You have the high rise sprayer faucet here. And you also have a large undermount sink with the little strainer cover for it. Now over here on your oven side, we have a graystone oven. This is a propane oven and a three burner stovetop. So you got propane oven, propane stovetop. The uh, oven and the knobs do light up. There's seven drawers. So you got three on each side plus one drawer down below. On the oven part, it does have the little flip up and down glass lid. So if you're not using it, you can kind of get a little more counter space there. Large LG microwave. Pretty good amount of storage space around this area as well. Now they are currently using the 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. So you have freezer on bottom and refrigerator on top. Over here, it's kind of a little pantry area. 
It's got a little light set up in there. But a decent amount of space here, and it does kind of go back in there a little bit as well. Four more drawers and some cabinet space there. Little counter space here. You got an electric outlet, so you could maybe make a little coffee bar or something there if you want to. There's a couple speakers in the roof up here. You can see more AC ducts, hang down pendant lighting. Electric box with the breakers and fuses, some return vents there, a little step light, ceiling fan controls, AC controls. And then you have the on-demand water heater controls right here as well. A little grab handle to get you up and down the steps there. And then this was also ordered with a central vac feature right there. Over here, bathroom area. So you got a little vent fan right here, skylight up above, AC duct in here as well. Some cabinet space, towel bars, porcelain foot flush toilet. You have heat duct in here as well. Adjustable shower bar, step in shower with the glass enclosure. Moving forward a little more, we have the master bedroom area here. So you got a window on each side, those windows do open. Some LED light strips back there. There's room on both sides of the bed and quite a bit at the foot of the bed to kind of maneuver around in here. The bed does raise up, so there is some storage under there as well. A little shelf space back here. Digital thermostat there for the second AC also on the wall. And then you can see right up above me here, another Coleman AC. Electric outlet, USB charger port. There's an electric outlet over on the other side as well. Sliding doors for your closet area there. A little bit of dresser space here. Window at the foot of the bed area over here does open as well. TV hookups up above the dresser area. The unit has washer dryer prep. So you could do a stack or combo washer dryer in here, depending on what you prefer. And you have closet hanging bar space all the way across. A little Wi-Fi Connect router there. It's a King Wi-Fi Connect router that you can use. Some space back in there as well. A little shelf space. But overall, pretty nice. Couples coach, not real large. So definitely could fit this into a few extra campsites that you might not be able to fit some big ones into. All right, I want to head outside, show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Sierra 3370RL fifth wall here. I want to start here on the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have kind of a light gray fiberglass exterior with some vinyl graphics, lower black metal skirting, deep tent safety glass windows. These are aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls. You have two outdoor speakers up high. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. And then you have a uh, porch light over there as well. Right here behind the first door are two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. You have a little bit thicker baggage doors here, better insulation, metal slam locks as well. Pass through storage compartment area here. There's battery disconnect, some motion lights in here as well, and TV hookup and electric hookup there. So if you wanted to set you up a TV outside, you could. There's a cold water spray port here, and there's also an electric outlet right there as well. 
The unit currently is using the more ride step above entry step. That step is rated for 500 pounds where a traditional hover style steps only rated for 300 pounds. So heavier duty step, it comes down, touches the ground so it doesn't shake and rock the RV as bad when you're running in and out. Large folding entry handle. The unit is prepped for a four camera system. So just above the entry door right there, it's prepped for a camera to go right there. There is on the front running light on each side prepping for another camera. So you'd have one going down each side, one above the entry door, and then one on the back it is also prepped for. So that's really nice if you wanted to set up that camera system and see what's going on with your RV when you're driving down the road. But you can also get an adapter for it, plug it in inside, and kind of use it to see what's going on around your RV outside when you're in it as well. So if you're sleeping in there and you happen to have that in the uh, camper with you, you could have that in your bedroom and see what's going on if you hear some noises outside. You have aluminum wheels, easy lube hubs. It also has a tire pressure monitoring system as well. And it comes with a little monitor you can keep in your truck with you so you can see what's going on with the tires when you're driving down the road. And you have drum brakes. So it is four wheel electric brakes. Very important to make sure you have a brake controller in your vehicle when you are uh, using it. You have electric front jacks and you have electric rear jacks. And this is a four point auto level system. So it does auto level itself, assuming you are somewhat level ground. The jacks are only so long, so they can only extend out so far. So if you're too off Kelter, you're gonna run out of jack stroke. So very important to make sure you are somewhat level before you set it up. Down below there is a gas line hookup for a little grill that's on the back of this on a swing arm that'll swing around here. The unit again has an enclosed underbelly, sectionalized panels, so it's easy for maintenance. Spare tire mounted on the back. You can also see that grill kind of rolled up back there as well. LED running lights and tail lights. It is prepped up high there for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder. That would basically telescope down, allowing you to get up and down on and off your roof to see what's going on. That is an aftermarket ladder that you can purchase. And then you close it back up, throw it in a storage compartment, kind of forget about it. Electric cord plugs in back here in the corner. This is a 50 amp electric service. Roughly, I'd say close to a 30, maybe 35 foot long cord. Just kind of looking down below here. There is a stove exhaust vent up there. Just in front here, you have hot and cold low point water drains along with your main dump exit right here. There is fresh water tank drain just up there. Furnace exhaust, Furion on demand water heater right here. The other side of our pass through storage compartment has the motion light kicking in there. Uh, but we have our jack controls for our auto level system or just getting it on and off the truck. And then you have your 30 amp solar charge controller. The unit has a solar panel on it as well. Over here is what they call a docking station. So we have our handles here to pull to dump things out. A whole house water filtration system here your water inlet, your black tank flush, and cable inlets and outside utility shower. Now, when you hook up your water, you basically hook your hose up and then you turn the valves the directions where you want the water to go. So if you're winterizing or using city water, trying to fill your portable water, it's all done by this valve system. Step back here real quick, just so you kind of see down this side a little better. The slide outs are also um, something that you might consider adding slide toppers to. 
slide out awning covers basically roll in and out with the slides. They help shade the top of the room. They repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that, that might come down on top of those rooms and just kind of allow things to roll off the awnings if they're on there, instead of getting trapped in between the slide fascia lips, uh, possibly damaging your roof or your slide out gasket seals and sweeper gaskets and stuff. So if you don't get those, do make sure you get up there from time to time and check them before you close it up. Um, but if you do get them, you know, talk with your salesperson about that if that's something that interests you at all. Very important informational stickers here. This one right here is the main production date sticker. The most important part of this sticker is going to be your gross vehicle weight. This camper grosses out at 13,560 pounds. It's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that. Then it also has your VIN number on it, uh, axle sizes, production date, all that stuff. Tire size, ST23580 r 16 e range tires, 80 PSI cold. Again, keep up with your tire pressure. Right here you have the dry weight. This basically tells me it is 10,436 pounds dry. Has a length of 36 feet, four inches. Storage compartment across the front here. Battery area, that yellow thing back there is the repeater for the tire pressure monitor. And then there's some more access to stuff back there. Light switch here for the cap lights. Let's step on back here so you can check out the front a little better. It is kind of a bubbled out front nose, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic than the old style flat fronts. Um, you do have that LED light bar there above your Rhino pen box. This is a standard steel pen box. If you wanted to upgrade to say a more ride or trail air or whatever, it is very important to make sure whatever you buy bolts up to the Rhino box bolt pattern. Now you may see a couple different graphics out there uh, for the 2023 season. The factory is kind of playing around with some graphics packages right now, getting ready for the upcoming 2024 model changeover. Um, so right now, this particular one is using this. Uh, there are a couple other graphics packages out there on the market. It was never an option or anything like that. They were just playing around with some prototype versions. Uh, so you may see something a little different looking, but kind of the basic same interior and features. All right, guys, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2023 Sierra 3370 RL. I just wanted to show you what this thing looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to come right back inside here in this area. Forgot to open this earlier when we were inside, but right here is your main control panel. So you got your slide buttons here, some light switches, awning light switch, awning in and out button, 12 volt tank heaters, uh, water pump switch, your monitor panels for your holding tanks, uh, all that stuff is right here. But when you are ready to close it up, you have three buttons. So we're gonna kind of stretch out here, see what this all looks like. When this comes in, it is again a 12 volt slide motor. So you're pushing a button, as long as you got a good uh, battery power to it, this thing will run in and out pretty comfortably. So when it comes in, it butts right up against the dresser. Now you'll notice, not just for video purposes, but I also left it open so that I could get in here with the slide closed. If you close the door and open and close the slide, it will interfere with your door. It's only gonna give you probably maybe eight, 10 inches, something like that to squeeze into the bedroom. But if you prop the door back out of the way, you could fully come up in here, get in and out of your bedroom. So if you're stopping at a rest area and need to take a nap or something, this is kind of nice. Just prop the door back out of the way, 
and be able to come up in here. Now, with all three slides closed, it doesn't interfere with the bathroom at all, so you can come up in here, use the bathroom or something like that at a rest area. But when you are bringing in the other rooms, again, electric slide room, you're basically just kind of hitting the button, bringing it in. Very, very important to make sure that your floor is clean and your cabinet doors and drawers and everything are closed up. If the floor is dirty, you could run over something like say a you know, grandkid's toy or a rock or something that might have came off your shoe and it would get wedged in between the slide and your linoleum and possibly rip your linoleum. So very, very important to make sure your floor is clean on any of these RVs that the slide outs are going in and out on. But you can see this gets real snug. You know, you're not getting back into your pantry. You're not getting to your oven or any of that type of stuff. But I can still have full access here to my refrigerator. So if I'm stopping at that grocery store or whatever, I could still come in here and load my fridge. Now bringing in the other slide here, this is going to basically stop me from being able to get to the back part of the RV back there as it's going to butt right up against the island here. So you would have to climb over the island to get back there. But it's not going to interfere with me getting over here to my refrigerator with it closed up. So I could get to my fridge, I could get to my sink if I had to come in here and wash my hands or something like that. Again, I could also get to the bathroom and wash my hands in there, but still have some functionality of the key things of the refrigerator and the bedroom when it's closed up for travel. All right, folks, thanks for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country, and they will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.